What is going on you guys? This is Tim O'Dell with O'Dell Company Concrete and what we're going to be doing today in this video is we're going to be extending the St. Augustine grass. We're going to be extending this grass all the way to the back of that concrete and if you guys haven't seen part one or two I would definitely recommend checking those out. We did this whole uh, walkway or bike path all the concrete and then in the back what you can see is a putting green. We also did that so that was part one and two. If you haven't seen those, I would definitely recommend checking those out. So what we're doing right here, like I was saying, is we're going down about two to three inches from the concrete. And the way we're doing that to make sure that we have the proper levels is we're just using that two by four, extending it across, putting that little uh, two foot level on top of it and making sure that we have um, two to three inches down from the two by four because we do want to bring in topsoil to help the San Augustine grow and be nourished and take root into the soil a lot easier. And then on top of that, you can see that there's a sprinkler right there that we're marking so that we can put the sprinkler head in right there so it catches all that St. Augustine grass right in that area. And what we're doing here is we're just fixing some sprinkler heads. We're just, uh, bringing in new sprinkler heads and just adjusting the sprinkler heads that are existing as well. Wanting to make sure that all these sprinklers are spraying in the right way, right areas, so that they're hitting all the grass. And the way you, you do that is usually there's a little flat head on top of these sprinkler heads that you just uh, adjust. You can turn them left or right to adjust them properly. We're just putting in some extra sprinkler lines to shoot towards the new grass that we're going to be putting in. Also guys, since we did reach a thousand likes on the first part of this little uh, backyard remodel series, I'm going to be including the price cost, the price breakdown, and the profits of how much uh, I made on this job into the last part which is part four um, if it gets a little too detailed I might just make it into a part five something you want to take into consideration when you're installing your sod typically what you want to do is you want to make sure when you put bring in the topsoil you usually put the uh, the grass in the next day because the topsoil you bring in is pretty warm and hot and can potentially hurt your grass that you bring in when you lay it on top of the soil right away. So what me and Sam did to avoid this was once we brought in all of the topsoil, we sprayed it down a couple times for about 30 minutes or so. And then we went to a lunch, we took a lunch break, a pretty long lunch break too. Like I think it was like about an hour, hour and a half lunch break. And as soon as we got back, we sprayed the topsoil again before laying down the St. Augustine grass. So, uh, we are just now bringing the St. Augustine grass. And, uh, I mean, installing uh, grass is a pretty simple thing. Uh, like my dad's always saying, just make sure you get the green side up. Pretty simple. So, uh, that's what we're doing, guys. We're putting the green side up putting the, the brown side down so we had Sam putting all the San Augustine grass in he's actually using a uh, margin trowel or I'm, I'm sorry a square trowel since we are you know mainly uh, concrete guys we uh, have a lot of trowels on us so we uh, we're just pretty much cutting the St. Augustine grass with our with our trowels. Uh, honestly, I don't advise you guys to do it this way because we actually broke our trowel doing it like this. Uh, you know, we should probably just use razor knives, but um, couldn't find a razor knife for the day, so uh, we just went with one of our concrete trowels. And what's nice about using the trowels at the same time is you can nice and get your uh, soil nice and leveled when you do lay out the St. Augustine grass. And then we're also watering the grass as we're going about guys because it was a hot day and I want to make sure that this grass really takes off and roots in really nicely. A couple of things I would keep in mind when you're installing your sod. 
you should always probably install sod on a hot dry day like we're doing on this day it was a nice hot day make sure that you got your all your irrigation in of course you definitely don't want to you know have to rip up your new sod and then put irrigation in another thing to note guys is when you do get your sod delivered you pretty much have to install it that day if you wait a day or two days your sod is going to pretty much be dead destroyed you need to get it into the uh, ground right away and then also once you do have it finally installed you want to make sure you get that top surface uh, keep that top surface wet and those roots uh, nice and uh, wet for the next like two weeks don't over soak them and drown them but making make sure you're watering at least like three times a day just keeping it nice and moist and wet and then here's the last little section of San Agustin grass that we're going to be putting in so you can see we soak the topsoil and then we're going to be putting the San Agustin grass on top and this is actually where Sam broke the square trowel cutting the San Augustine because uh, the San Augustine grass guys is it's thick it's really strong and hardy so uh, not like marathon grass marathon grass uh, you can cut through that stuff like butter but San Augustine is really thick and strong and you can see the little piece that we broke off right there in the grass took that out later though and then also with the leftover grass that we did have which wasn't too much but the leftover stuff we did have we started filling in the the areas where in the very first video part one guys we cut back the concrete uh, a little too much or that we cut back the dirt a little too much when forming for the concrete and we're just filling in the little uh, trenches to uh, just make it look nicer for the homeowners help it grow back a little faster than it would normally So that, that, that's pretty much it for this video guys. It's a pretty short, sweet, simple video of how to install your own San Agustin grass, marathon grass. Now here's the final shot of how everything looks once we're all done. And you can actually see the seam pretty much from the new to the old grass. But in time, that's going to go away. The grass will blend and grow over each other. And you won't even notice any of that. Honestly, you can barely see see anything right now as it is but that's how it looks when it's all said and done it looks really good it's gonna look even better once everything starts to really flourish and grow and take off and the job is actually coming out really really nice overall guys you can see the little bike path the grass the putting green we're not quite done yet but overall it's uh, coming out really nicely so I hope you guys stay tuned for the last part part four it's gonna be the next video coming out um, like I said if you haven't seen part one or two I would definitely recommend checking those out seeing how we got this far and again thank you guys so much for all the support and liking sharing subscribing I appreciate that and uh, have a great day guys